in this video we will discuss about in vitro mutagenesis so uh, what happens in this in vitro mutagenesis is we take the method that i that uh, we will discuss in this video will take the advantage of the bacteria that contains a recombinating engineering recombinating proteins so what does this recombinating protein does is it helps in combining the uh, vectors and this uh, recombin uh, bacteria that contains uh, recombinating proteins uh, or we can say uh, some of the examples of recombinating proteins are red ET uh, proteins red ET proteins so what happens uh, this inner circle and the outer circle uh, the, here the original vector is shown and the top of the original uh, vector and the bottom of the original vector is the primer with the desired uh, mutation as it is shown here in this figure is that region to be muted is highlighted with red in the original vector and the uh, forward primer and reverse primer with the desired mutation so what happens is that the uh, pcr reaction is carried out uh, along this original vector uh, and after this PCR product is formed. This PCR product will be uh, transfected into the this PCR product will be transfected into the uh, bacteria that contains recombinating proteins, and, and that bacteria then helps in combining this uh, recombinating uh, combining this uh, PCR product into a desired vector with a desired mutation, as it is shown here. So this is how. The mutation is done uh, in in vitro by in vitro uh, method. And suppose if someone wants to add a desired primer or desired uh, sequence within the original vector, what it will does is it will design a uh, forward and reverse primer in such a way that uh, this forward and reverse primer contain a desired addition or substitution. And then uh, this. Uh, desired addition and uh, then this desired addition and substitution uh, is combined uh, with the forward and reverse primer as it is shown here uh, blue color is the desired addition and it is combined with the forward primer that is in shown in green color and the blue color is the, the desired production uh, desired uh, addition substitution is combined with the reverse primer that is shown in red color and when the pcr uh, reaction occurs then uh, the the PCR reaction occurs, and after uh, injecting those PCR product into the bacteria, the final product that forms will contain a will contain a vector with desired addition and substitution. Because in this case, what happens is that the PCR product formation starts with this case, and then ends with the red. However, in between red and green, it can, it has this desired addition and substitution and that is uh, finally uh, been visible in the final product after the this RC PCR product will be transfected into the recombi bacteria containing recombinating proteins and similar strategy will be used for uh, the deletion of this uh, for the deletion of uh, any uh, sequence within the original vector so what happens in this case is that the forward primer and the reverse primer yeah will have uh, forward primer and reverse primer will uh, design in such a way that uh, forward primer and reverse primer design in such a way that it does not uh, that the sequence the whole sequence as it is shown here the forward primer are revised uh, designed here in green region and the reverse primer are designed here in red region so when the pcr product is formed it does not uh, include this blue region that is the desired deletion that is required so forward primer and reverse primer are designed in such a way that the uh, deletion uh, sequence comes in between the uh, forward and reverse primer and that too on that side uh, that is not included in the uh, PCR reaction that is not 
formed a product in the PCR reaction. So in this case, what happens is that the PCR product starts from C and uh, goes into the anti-clockwise direction and then ends in the, the uh, at the end of reverse primer. So what happens in this case, the final product when it is formed is that uh, it will contain the forward primer and reverse primers are uh, that are uh, joined together uh, in the back in the bacteria containing recombinating uh, proteins. Uh, so in this final product will be uh, devoid or void of this uh, desired deletion uh, that is available in the original vector. So this is in brief how this in vitro mutagenesis uh, can take play, can be uh, done in the lab with the help of bacteria uh, that contains recombinating proteins such as red e, red ET or red gamma uh, red beta proteins. If you need to understand this thing in details, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.